Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the HLOOKUP function together with some other functions as well in our example. Okay, in, in our training series, as we advance through our series, uh, we are going to use examples which are more similar to real life cases. So this is somewhat similar to a real life sales case. So we have the sales people here, their regions, and their sales figures, their sales realizations in, for each quarter. So we are going to find the year totals, and then for each salesperson, we are going to find their regions and their total sales. And in the last section, we are going to find the sales, total sales for each region, and we are going to check if this region has achieved their goal. Okay, let's start. The first one is easy. It asks us to find total yearly sales for each person by using sum function. We write our function sum bar by choosing all quarters. And I'm just copy and paste my formulas. Okay. In the second example, in the second question, we are, we are going to use HLOOKUP function because our table is is somewhat a bit vertical. Um, we have learned VLOOKUP in the previous videos, but this time we will need HLOOKUP for this kind of case. So, it asks us what is the region of Brad or Johnny or Robert. So, the region information are laid just under the people, salespeople. We are going to write HLOOKUP function for this HLOOKUP function takes four values, four parameters. The first one is remember from VLOOKUP, the uh, VLOOKUP function. It is almost the same. It also takes a lookup value. We say that search bread. Okay. In the second parameter, we are going to search bread, but where we are going to search bread? So we choose the table. We are going to search bread. And I fix my table selection. The third parameter asks us, okay, you have chosen the table, but what is the number of rows uh, starting from the lookup value? So starting from the lookup value, our uh, target row is the region. So it is 1 and 2. We are going to look for the second row. For this case and we are looking for an exact match so i leave it as zero as you remember from the lookup function and it gives us the east for bread and i'm just copying and pasting this region information for the third question we are basically going to do the same thing but this time we are going to use the year total we are total sales for each salesperson so I'm writing the HLOOKUP function again and choosing my lookup value. And this time I'm going to choose this table because I'm going to need year total. I can choose like this, like this or like this. It doesn't matter as long as we have our target value in our table, selected table. And I fix my selection. And row index number is, I can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the seventh row starting from the lookup value. So I write 7 here and I write exact match. You see, it brings us the total sales of red, which is the correct. And I copy and paste the formulas. And this section is completed. Let's go to the last section. The fourth question asks us to find the sales for each region by using sum if function. Okay, you may remember the sum if function from the previous video. So uh, we are going to find the sales for each region. But we cannot use HLOOKUP or VLOOKUP or anything for this because we have to combine each region uh, for this question. So we are going to use this section. For that. Okay, let's write our sum if function. 
I choose my range. What is my range? I'm going to look for the north or east or west. So I am choosing this range as my criteria range. I just fix the range in order not to change it. And I select my criteria. What is my criteria? For this cell, this is north. I don't fix it because as I copy and paste my formula, I want it to change to east, south and west. I leave it like this. And it is going to look for each north region in this area for its total sales. And I fix it again. And it brings to 65. Let's cross check manually. This is north, this is north, and this is north. It seems like 265 is correct. Let's copy and paste it. And OK. And lastly, let's check if this region has achieved their goal. So what we are going to use, it says to compare sales and goal in if function and write yes if sales is bigger and write no, otherwise not bigger. So let's write if function and make a comparison here. If sales is bigger than goal, this means that we have reached our goal. So yes. But if not, then this will be no. And this region, east and south, seems like achieved their goal. Okay, let's submit our answer. See, it's correct. Good job. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, we are going to learn how to use the right and left functions in Excel. So keep following.